Okay, so you like turbo sound and uh, I do as well. This is why I'm going to show you today how to make your turbo from sounding like this. sounding like this. And for this example, I have uh, two different turbochargers here, which I, uh, are two GT28 units and um, they are somewhat different. And I'm going to show you now what the difference is, because that is quite relevant for how to make your turbo louder. And this difference is in the compressor housing because that unit right here which is a pulsar gtx 2860r has a provision for the turbo speed sensor and therefore on the back side on most of the turbos on efr turbos or on uh, borg borner turbos this hole is not drilled through and you can see there is a hole here which is about i think three to four millimeters or so and you can see that it is covered with a bolt. And this is actually where that high pitched spooling sound comes from. So because the air is rushing over that bolt hole and is creating turbulences and therefore is also creating noise. And this is where these noises come from. And that's why these turbos sound so wild and um, if you want to make that sound more aggressive and if you have a pulsar unit for example you can put a spacer between that bolt and make it so that that bolt does not go as far in and stays a bit further back which does not impact performance in any way you might lose one or two horsepower but that's not really an issue because any modern turbocharger has that provision the other thing on turbo covers that don't have a provision for that some of them do have like a small casting thingy that you can drill through um, but this one does not have anything at all which is why you can also if you just want the noise you can also just drill a hole in this volute right about in the middle where that radius is and drill a hole not completely through it only has to be about a centimeter deep and drill a hole in there and then you will also get that sound you didn't have to do anything else and that's basically it yes it will as i said it will somewhat hinder the flow although this is not really that big of a deal because the uh, such a small hole or such a small imperfection in the material isn't really that bad uh, to say that way you might lose at the very top end of the turbocharger maybe 10 horsepower if any and uh, yeah it's basically just something for the sound but still that's how to make your turbocharger way louder a different thing when you are running not running a blow-off valve and um, 
you want to make your flutter louder, then you can do one thing and that is use a compressed cover that has no high flow options. As you can see, the one on the on my right side has high flow and the one on the left side does not. And the turbo flutter is, flutter is gonna be way louder when you don't use a high flow housing. And also when you put on your intake a pipe that is about at least 30 centimeters or so before your filter. And that also makes the flutter way louder because it reflects inside the pipe and uh, a setup with this and a pipe in front of it and then the filter instead of putting the filter directly on the housing will also increase the flutter or will the make the flutter way louder. Although some things have to be said, the flutter that you can hear is also not really that great for the turbo because the air coming back from the intercooler piping is going back out of the turbo and back out of the compressor housing and is getting chopped up by the turning blades and therefore it makes that flutter sound. And this is also why these turbines or rather the shafts get some shock loads. Well, it's kind of not much, not really damaging in a way, at least on lower boost levels, like below 10 PSI, but the durability can be decreased. So turbo flutter is a thing that um, on, especially on ball bearing turbochargers, I would recommend that you keep away by using a properly sized blow off valve and also a blow off valve that opens at the right time. On normal journal bearing turbochargers, that is not as big of a deal because you have more oil film the shaft is riding on. But I would also suggest if you don't use a blow off valve, keep it under 10 PSI so that you don't damage the bearings, especially the thrust bearings, um, because those are loaded pretty bad anyway. In addition to the shock loads, it can also cause the turbine or the compressor wheel to shift on the shaft, which means that the turbo is not in balance anymore. And this can cause also the bearing system to fail, which why some manufacturers grind the shaft in a way so that the turbine can't shift or can't rotate on the shaft. And uh, on those turbos, you can run much higher boost levels without running a blow off valve, but normally on normal turbochargers, uh, you will have issues, especially on a ball bearing unit. Just for your info, I did the same thing on my MX-5 as well, and it works perfectly fine. I don't have any power losses or whatever. Uh, just for the people that are saying, please don't drill into your housing. Yeah, obviously you probably shouldn't, but hey, we all want that noise. And compressor housings are actually not that expensive. You can get replacement housings from Pulsar Turbo, for example, for like 150 bucks, if uh, at most. And uh, so, yeah, why not risk it for a bit of fun while driving? And uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you liked it, let me know or let me know in the comments if you have anything to add to this. And otherwise, I wish you a nice day and goodbye.